electric field. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe an electric field. Sketch electric field lines showing the direction of the field. Describe the effect of an electric charge on a charge. Solve problems involving electric charge and current. A plastic comb is rubbed with a piece of cloth. What happens to the bits of paper when the comb is brought near to them? Why? A plastic ruler is also rubbed with a piece of cloth. What happens to the stream of water when the plastic ruler is brought close to it? Why? If you want to move something, you would have to touch it, push it, or pull it directly. However, some objects can be moved without touching them. When the plastic comb and the plastic ruler are rubbed, they are charged. The charged plastic comb and the charged plastic ruler can attract the bits of paper and the fine stream of water, even though they are not in contact. However, Nothing happens to the bits of paper or the fine stream of water when the charged plastic comb and the charged plastic ruler is far. Around a charged object, there is a region where electrostatic forces can be felt. This charged object has an electric field around itself. Any other charged objects which come into the field will experience a force. The electric field is strongest near the charged object, hence the force is strongest there. The field gets weaker as you move further away from the charged object. That is why the bits of paper which are far away from the comb are not attracted to it. Electric field patterns similar to the magnetic field patterns traced by iron filings can be obtained by using tiny insulating substances such as semolina powder or grass seeds. What happens to the seeds when a high voltage is connected across the metal electrodes? Once the high potential difference is connected to the electrodes, some seeds line up in the direction of the electric field. The lines of force and shape of the electric field are made visible as the seeds link together, forming lines between the two electrodes. The electric field can be represented with electric field lines. It can be illustrated by drawing lines of electric force. The direction of the electric field is from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. Field lines do not cross each other. The field lines between two plates are parallel and equally spaced, except near the edges. Thus, the electric field is uniform between two parallel plates, except at the edges. When a higher potential difference is applied, the number of field lines increases. The closer the lines, the stronger the electric field within that region. An electric field is a vector quantity. The diagram shows the electric field pattern around a positive and negative charge. The density of lines indicates the strength of the field. More lines indicate a stronger electric field 
which is due to a larger quantity of charge. Observe the electric field line pattern when different electrodes are used. A straight electrode and a point electrode. Two different charges on point electrodes. Two same charges on point electrodes. This activity shows the effect of an electric field on a ping pong ball coated with conducting material. A voltage is applied between the two metal plates, one positively charged and the other negatively charged. When the ball touches the positive plate, it loses some negative charges and is immediately repelled from the positive plate and attracted to the negative plate. On touching the negative plate, the ball collects negative charges and is repelled back towards the positive plate. Thus, the ball swings between the plates until the power supply is switched off. This activity shows the effect of an electric field on a candle flame. The heat of the flame ionizes the air molecules to become positive and negative charges. When a voltage is applied between the two plates, positive charges are attracted to the negative plate, while the negative charges are attracted to the positive plate. The positive charges are heavier than the negative charges. As the positive charges move towards the negative plate, they drag along most of the flame. This causes the flame to disperse more to the negative plate. Drag and drop any two electrodes to the points marked X and observe the patterns formed. This activity shows how the force between two charged objects depends on their separation distance and the charge on each object. Charge both metal balls P and Q 
with an equal quantity of positive charges. Bring metal ball Q closer to ball P. When Q is far from P, a small movement towards P makes very little difference to the deflection of P. As Q gets closer to P, the deflection of P increases. What can you say about the repulsion force and the distance between P and Q? The repulsion force increases as the separation distance decreases. Touch ball Q with an identical but uncharged metal ball Z, so that the charge on Q is shared equally between Q and Z. Bring metal ball Q closer to ball P. Note the effect on the deflection of P when the charge on Q is halved. What can you say about the repulsion force and the quantity of charge? The repulsion force decreases as the quantity of charge decreases.